one thing that uh, I'm involved with our local Lower Republican NRD, Natural Resources District, and we, we have our water allocations in this area, and so we have a compact with Colorado and Kansas, and so it's a three-state compact. And so we have to really monitor our water and so forth and make sure that Kansas gets their fair share. I think the farmers in this area has just done an excellent job of, of adapting to the allocation. We, we have 45 inches of water that we basically put on over a five year period. And people have adapted and they've spent a lot of money to, uh, to get irrigation systems that are more efficient. A lot of uh, farmers have gone ahead and um, uh, invested the capital to put in uh, center pivot irrigation where it used to be flood irrigation and that's, that's really helped be uh, much more efficient. But beyond that, um, there's soil moisture probes that people are putting in and, and utilizing that really helps um, so we know uh, the most appropriate time to put it on and, and uh, not put it on when it's uh, not really going to help the yield, but realizing there are times that it's just more crucial to not have the plant stressed. But there are times that you can stress it and not really hurt your yield. So it's, uh, that's something we're learning more each year about, it seems like. The no-till has allowed us to really uh, limit the amount of water we put on without reducing our yields. I'm proud of the way that uh, everybody stepped up to the plate to get uh, to the place where they can really be very efficient and, and uh, in turn also being good for environment and being sustainable with our, our water supply. One project that we're trying to uh, implement when there's excess flows in uh, another basin such as the Platte River Basin, trying to get some of those excess flows when it's doing damage and everything else get it on down to the Republican and there's room in some of the reservoirs down here to utilize um, the water and let not, not to let it go to waste and just end up in the Gulf of Mexico. And some years we might get water when they have excessive flows, some years we, not, we might not, but we're kind of on a five year um, uh, as far as allocation so yeah, there are ways that uh, we don't have to have it each year that inflow we just have that helps us on our equation it's kind of like a checking balance we can kind of spread that over five years and so forth and and uh, hopefully utilize it and not just that it's from year to year that we depend upon that so i i just think that that's a direction that um, that nebraska needs to go towards and i think i think it's being done in a lot of areas to utilize that water piece we need to put it to, we just can't let it go to waste we all know how valuable it is and uh, that's something that i that's uh, dear to me is to try to just save all that water and and uh, and put it to good use